So, I'm sure you guys have seen these little rifle strap assemblies on eBay or internet in various places. Also known as the, officially called the rifle butt pocket and strap assembly and a send number, blah, blah, blah. But they're always mint, always unissued. And they're usually considered, they always build them as rare or something like that. And they do seem a bit weird that they're so, if they're so rare, but they're so mint, what's the deal with that? And you never see them in photos either. Well, there's partly a reason for that. It's because they don't really serve a whole lot of purpose. They will, one thing though, they only work with the lightweight rucksack, the Vietnam era lightweight rucksack. A modern Alice does not have the frame exposed that you in the little slot that you, uh, makes this work. So in theory, you could rig it for an Alice, but it's really not gonna be worth the squeeze. So since there isn't, a, for some reason, the training circular or manual to use this is rare or you have to pay a lot to get off the packet, figured I would show you guys how to do this, at least based off of what I've gathered from looking at pictures and watching videos, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So first, take the little pocket assembly, little M1910 wire hanger, and you hook it to the left, I'm sorry, right side, lower right side eyelets down here. Make sure you can see that okay. Boom, and there. Da -da -da, zoom in. All right, and then next up, we're going to take this and loop it through the direction, say, horizontal, but not the vertical, but really it's a, it's a 90 degree. It's gonna end up on, those, on the side anyways. Doesn't matter. Take it, put the one end through the other loop, cinch it up, that's all. That's literally it. Then take this end and feed it to that little slot right there, just like that. All right, so once that's through, uh, you can get picky, flatten it out, it doesn't matter. Take this, slide it back a little. Alright, and then you're going to thread it into a little buckle. Let's see if I can bring this up closer so you can see just how it goes. So here's the buckle. Alright, take it, go in, go down and in, so it's going to come out like that. And go through that side, you can see it there, and back up, and then through. I'll turn this over, kind of see. Hopefully you can see that okay. It will be resting on top of it like that. Just give it a little pull, maybe even pull. All right, so that's how you attach to the pack. Now if you get the rifle in there, grab the rubber duck, there we go. And you're gonna first take this loop and insert it into it from the outside. Pull it up. Then down into the butt pocket. Now the butt pocket is incredibly loose. I have no idea what they meant this to, to hold. I mean, it is very generously sized. Now, as you can see, I can cinch it up since it's tighter and tighter and tighter, and it'll just keep pulling it up until it almost doesn't hold it anymore. The way this works is it's held in basically by the weight of the rifle itself. So doing it on the ground doesn't really work very well. You're gonna have to lift the pack up a little bit until it's hanging tight on the bottom. You can see that web string up there. Now it's tight. And just take this and just snug it up a little bit. Just pull it to the snug. There we go. There you go, it's gonna give a little jiggle. And push it closed. There you go. And that is it. I'll back the camera away so you can try to see a full size picture of it. So on the ground, you can see it. It's not ready to want it to fall out. If you lift it up, it does hold it. And it does want to snag on that. So it does function, but it is very loose. Part of that is because you need, they want you to be able to get it out quickly. And I think the other thing is because it was mainly intended for ski troops, 
doing Arctic maneuvers or warfare. The pictures showing this in use, they do show it with a large, uh, what is it called, sleeping bag, bedroll. Maybe it's a big, large, puffy bedroll or sleeping bag for Arctic use. And I think that helps hold this from flopping around so much because it would be pushed up against that. So I think that's part of it there. Then if you were to need the rifle, I'm assuming you have to take the pack off, but you just lift it up, and it down. It comes out. So it comes out pretty easy. It's kind of neat. But you can see why they're always meant because nobody really used them for a while. So there you go. Hopefully that helps.